Hi friends! How are we today? Happy day 11! I'm back! <laughs> today is going to be a update on like a buyer business, how I started a business, how my business works, like behind the scenes kind of stuff today. Someone asked a couple videos ago for this kind of video, so here we are. I have posted two videos like nine months ago or maybe a year ago now about the process of how I started my online business and like the licensing that I needed and the behind the scenes of that. So if you guys want to see that, then go check that out. But you don't really have to, you can just watch this one if you want. I'll start with my black habaya, my most popular piece. This is the black onyx habaya 2.0. Um, I'll put a picture in here of me wearing it. It's like kind of difficult to show you, but I'm going to show you the fabric here. See how it catches the light? I really like that. So basically, this habaya, I wanted it to be like an everyday habaya for everyone. And I think that's why it's so popular because it's just like a simple black everyday habaya, but it's got like a fun shape. The material is like the kind of material that will stand, if that makes sense. That's the kind of material I was looking for was something a bit sturdier. I put a lining in. The lining is like scarf material. The stitching there. Very nice. The first black onyx I buy that I made it has a slightly different pattern to this one, but and I wasn't going to actually bring them back, but they were so popular that I decided to restock and I had to opt for this slightly different pattern because that first pattern is completely sold out everywhere, it doesn't exist anymore. So this is the pattern that we have, but I really like it. I think it's really nice and it's almost exactly the same, so I'm very happy with it. I also have so I've got two brand new ironing. other two habayas do need ironing so please don't judge them too harshly so i've made two linen habayas brand new brand new design new shape i've wanted to branch out a little bit into something a bit classier and less everyday and more like going out so this has some moroccan detailing it's italian linen really nice sage green color i'm really happy with it so the material i go to material markets and material shops and i browse and i ask them for like all their different samples i take some samples home with me and then i decide which ones i want and i buy rolls so you can only buy material by the roll you can't buy them by the meter so i buy them by the roll and then we get these made we have an idea and we go to and we go to separate places to get these beautiful details i don't know what they're called in english trim to buy the trim so i go to moroccan shop and i kind of match them with the sample of the fabric do you see the trim i think it's really cute i think it's a very good color match don't you yeah and then you buy the buttons as well from this the place where you get the trim i have two separate tailors so one tailor will do the base of the abaya so just like the normal shape and then the other tailor will do the moroccan detail because it's very specific the way it needs to look Sorry, I just had to adjust you guys so you can see my forehead. It's very specific the way they need to sew it. So I'm very particular about the, what's it called? Stitching. Stitching and the details. I really want them to be fantastic for you guys. So I try really hard to make that happen. The tailor that sews the Moroccan details onto the abayas and the dresses sews everything by hand. So I just wanted to show you guys his work and I think it's magnificent. Good job to him. Bravo. I also have this, it's got like a split sleeve. So th this color, this blue color and the green color. They're gonna come with white scarves. They're both Italian linen, very bougie. And they both are going to come with white scarves. I prefer white scarves with colored abayas rather than colored scarves. Cause I feel like it's a lot when it's a colored scarf. But you know, sometimes it works. The sleeve has a split in it just for a bit of like fun. And it's got some rocking details. This is a blue one. It's like an evil eye blue. I think it's really nice. You guys know that I really love this color color because I have so many items in this color. The work is really good. So I think if you guys are planning to start a business, you need to make sure that you find quality sources of fabric. You need to find quality tailors and specific to your to what you want to do. So for example, 
some of these habayas have Moroccan details and some of my dresses have Moroccan details. So for those ones, I have a specific tailor that knows how to do Moroccan style dresses and he's from Morocco and I trust him. For the other habayas, I have a specific habaya guy for like the main body of the habaya. I have a guy that knows how to do habayas. Do you know what I mean? So make sure that they are trained in that specific thing that you're doing. Know what you want. That's my label. So I've had labels made as well. I don't really think about the labels since I've had them made because I had like bulk made. So they're just kind of there. I still really love them. I think they're really cute. These are for me. These are the samples that I have just was like, yeah, I like this. You can make the rest of them now. Do you know what I mean? Make one piece of each for me. And if I like everything, then we make the rest. If there's things that need to be changed, then I let him know. And he makes another sample and then I approve that. And then we make the rest of them. Does that make sense? I hope so. So this is the blue Moroccan dress. It comes with a hood, classic hood. This again, like a collaborative effort between two tailors. One that makes the body of the dress and one that stitches by hand. I know, you guys, hand stitched. Stitches by hand, these beautiful trims. And I really like the silver, silver and blue. I think it's a really beautiful match. The little buttons, so cute. I'm gonna do a try on haul of these for you guys next week or the end of the week. But for now, I'm just kind of chatting about it. I have a little slit at the bottom, just for some, you know, spice. That's what it looks like. Boop, boop, boop. This color kind of is the same as the other, as the linen, Italian linen one. This is silk crepe. Black onyx abaya is silk tafta, which is the most expensive kind of tafta. You can find cheaper taftas, but I just wanted the really good stuff. So I got the silk tafta. I like the way it stands. I like how it wears. It doesn't like, you know, some some kinds of polyester materials just make you feel like sticky. This doesn't do that. It's very airy. The lining makes it very comfortable. The lining it is, crease. it doesn't crease. I have never ironed them. They're just kind of, they just stand in the shape that they were made. And I really like that. And that was the whole, that's what I wanted from the whole for the whole abaya was for it to stand like even when you're wearing it it's got its own shape it's not just like swallowing you up if that makes sense so that was very intentional and that is the only style of abaya that i have that's tafta for right now this is silk crepe and it's really nice and airy as well it's also not see-through so it's really just perfect. That's the only prep that I have in this collection. The other two are silk blend. These two are both silk blends. Got a baby blue, which I think is super cute. It's also got silver trim, blue and silver trim, perfect color matches. And it just, it drapes you in a slightly different way than the crepe does. It just kind of like is a lot more, um, a lot more mermaid, if that makes sense. So that's well, that's the vibe I get from it. It's like a lot more princessy, a lot more mermaid. Pink one, Barbie pink. It needs an iron, so please do ignore. This one also has silver, silver and pink, which I think is really cute. It's very I'm a Barbie girl, very material girl. I think it's very very nice. I really like it. They all have a hood, so they're all the same. They're all the same shape. They're all the same style, just different colors. And that's the whole collection. What do you guys think? Um, if you guys have any specific questions, you can ask me in the comments and I will do my best to reply to all of them. I'm still, I'm still quite new to running my own business, but I try. And um, so the way I work is usually when it's sold out, it's sold out. I don't tend to restock. I, I've only really restocked the original black habayas, the black onyx habayas, because they were so in demand and people really wanted them. So I wanted to give that to you guys. But for, for the most part, for the dresses, I just, I like to move on to the next thing. I like to change it up. I like to give you guys new colors, new materials. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and I love you. See you next time. I will do a try and haul for you soon.